and welcome back to our Pokemon Solar Light and Thunder Dark playthrough. This is possibly going to be the final episode. As the last episode we went ahead, we took down the Rokoto League Village, which was basically just a tournament to go ahead and get us ready for the Elite Four. We won that. It gives us permission to battle the Elite Four. Uh, we still have the Shiny Team. I think we're going to keep the Shiny Team. It worked really well and much better than I expected, so we're going to keep with it. Honestly, our strategy is going to stay pretty similar. Uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to lead off with Venezuela. Venezuela's going to set up Sticky Web, and from there, hopefully everything is just going to go nice and easy with our sweepers getting a nice setup. Cam Electro will hopefully do as well as it did last time, because that was absolutely insane. And the only thing I think we're going to need is maybe a couple of revives, just because we're probably going to have to um, bring back Venezuela in between matches. Other than that, I think we're going to be okay. So apparently we just go ahead and speak to this lady again. Ah, welcome back, Rokoto League winner. Hey, that's us. Um, okay, maybe not. Do we just have to speak to you again? Do you want to battle the Elite Four now? Yes, I do. Are you really ready to battle them? I have not trained up. Um, I'm assuming they're not going to be too much higher in level. We just fought level 65s, and they weren't too bad. Uh, I assume the Elite Four probably won't go higher than 70 by the champion, because there's not really any trainers after the level 65s. Ooh. Elite 4 member Nora. Okay. Elite 4 member Rocco. If Rocco doesn't use rock types, I'm going to be annoyed. Fayette. And Rex. Well, we know Rex is dragons. We're doing Rex last. Okay, dragons absolutely terrify us. They are really, really bad for our team. Uh, specifically, Cam Electro. Our team does not like dragons. That's last. What do we do well against? Is Fayette Fairy or Psychic? If it's Psychic, that's scary. If it's Fairy, we are okay. If it's Fairy, we're okay because we have Venezuela, which can definitely get the Sticky Web up in that case. Cam Electro can turn into a Fire type. Um, let's go with Rocco. Rocco sounds like Rock types. So, Rock types shouldn't be too scary. We have a Grass type, we have a Water type. We have uh, uh, Energy Ball on Cam Electro. I think we'll be fine. We'll leave with Venezuela and start with Rocco, I guess. Sure. Definitely Rock types, okay. <laughs> hey, you made it. I knew you'd make it here. Are you surprised? <laughs> I'm a member of the Elite Four. I never told you because I wanted it to be a surprise. Oh my god, you're the dude that said you were in Fall Rock Val Valley. I remember now. I finally figured it out. It took me a long time. Anyway, let's get professional. As you know, my name is Rocco, and I specialize in Rock-type Pokemon. They're strong and sturdy and can be hard to beat. I'm about to rock this battle. Get ready. Uh, can I bring everyone? I hope I can bring everyone. Those are the four that I definitely want to bring. Yeah, we're bringing everyone. Okay. Um, honestly, this is going to come down a lot onto... I'm going to assume Yaya setting up bulk up. I'm expecting a lot of physical Rock-types, and Aqua Slam to do a lot of work. Uh, we'll see though, we'll see. They also have low special defense, so Cam Electro could- Oh, that's scary. Oh, that's really scary. I just want Sticky Web. Please survive, please survive, please survive, please survive, please survive, please survive. <gasps> we have Sticky Web. Okay, okay. I wasn't expecting that to actually survive, but you know, here we are. Earthquake is gonna finish us, that's fine. Do we want to go and start setting up bulk ups with Yaya immediately? I don't want this thing to have Stone Edge. Stone Edge would hurt. I'm going to go into Coco Rocco. And my reason for this is it's bulky. If it does go for Stone Edge, it can survive it. And we also have the Energy Ball, which is adaptability. It's nice. And they haven't had their speed drop yet. I don't want to set up until their speed is dropped, and then I can get the setup off first. Oh, sturdy. See, if I'd set up a whole bunch just then, and then sturdy had got me KO'd, I'd have been very sad. So, this is fine. Level 66, by the way. Not too hard to deal with. Not too hard to deal with. We'll be okay. Jewel at all. Hmm. We could fight with our own jewel at all. <laughs> Would that be stupid? It might be. It might be stupid. But it could also be really good. Our Jewelatil 
has the Quick Claw, has Calm Mind. If I can get a Calm Mind up, it'll be slowed by the Sticky Web, so I get a Calm Mind up off for free. Hold on, this is gonna work. Alright, this is gonna work. Wait, is it not affected by... Okay, we have speed, we get the Calm Mind up. That means that we immediately have an advantage. Shatter Gem. That shouldn't do too much. Electric Gem strengthen Shatter Gem's power. Electric Gem? Wasn't Shatter Gem a Rock-type move? Either way, Power Gem should finish off this Jewel Hall in return. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to try and set up another Calm Mind and get bopped. Okay, that'd be awful. Volcadon. That sounds like a Fire-type. If it's Fire Rock, then I'm just going to go ahead and go for another Power Gem. That's bulky. That's so bulky. Can we survive an eruption? It's half health now. Nope. Nope. Not gonna happen. Okay. 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 Uh. I'm gonna go into Yaya. It's a special attacker, so I don't want to set up. Because it might have some weird move like Energy Ball or something that I don't know about. Uh, we will be fine to just Earthquake. I don't want to go for a contact move in case there's Flame Body. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We're trying real hard right here because we are very underleveled. We're trying real hard. 5,000 XP though is nice. Coco Rocco. If Siphoon is going to do anything, it's probably against this, right? Although we have our own Coco Rocco. I think we'll be fine going into our own. It's so weird seeing the non shiny form. <laughs> uh, so our strongest move right here is actually Stone Edge, not Brick Break. Even though it's super effective, the adaptability means the Stone Edge is a little bit stronger, so we're gonna go for Stone Edge. That does not do a lot of damage. Wood Hammer hits us and KOs. Yikes. That's a yikes. That's very yikes. We're gonna go into Siphoon, and I guess we're gonna go for Aeroblast. I really want this to KO, or else we're gonna get bopped in return. It does KO, Siphoon has good special attack, okay. Uh, so far, we're trading a lot. Baldoys. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna aqua slam that. No, is this rock grass or rock ground? It's rock ground, right? I keep thinking it's grass because it has this tiny bit of green, but I think it's actually rock ground when we caught it. Dry skin made aqua slam useless. Yeah, that's a problem. How much does an Earthquake do? It's probably got so much defense. Yeah, that's not half. If it did half, I'd be happy. Uh, I guess we're just gonna hide potion up. That's why we have them, I suppose. Uh, this- this could have been going better. I think my plan should have just been bulk up with Yaya. I honestly think I should have done that against the Leonite, to be honest. Kind of silly to say that now, now that we're like five Pokemon in, but I think that would have definitely been the best play. Earthquake's gonna hit again. Are you about to potion? No, no potions. Okay, that's weird. That's weird. Why is there no potions? Are you saving it for your Mega? Do you have a Mega? Golossus. Is this a Mega? I'm scared. We're gonna go into Camel Electrode, finish it up with Energy Ball. Uh, I think we should be fine. This was one of the Pokemon I was tempted to use, actually, Golossus. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're gonna go for the energy ball. I think two hit KO at least. Sturdy? Not sturdy. Okay. Uh, has leftovers. Doesn't matter. We just energy ball. We are fine. Cam Electro is such a reliable Pokemon to have in the back. It's so incredibly reliable with its coverage, apart from when we get to Rex. Rex is probably gonna be a problem. Wow, what a great battle. Even my strong rock types were no match for you. Maybe you have what it takes to take the, on the champion. Well, we're done here. You can move on to the next member of the Elite Four. I guess we're going to go to Nora. Uh, I'm not actually sure what type Nora is going to be. It's either Grass or Normal. That's the two types I think of with the name Nora. We need to go ahead and revive. Where am I revives? Am I blind? I'm blind. Yes, I am. There they are. We're going to go ahead and revive our entire team, including Venezuela. That's definitely going to be useful. 
Uh, we do have a couple of rock types, though. Now, and we have a ghost type. We'll actually be okay if it's normal. I'm kind of hoping on normal. If it's grass, we have, a, we have two bugs. We have a flying type. We have a electro that can become a fire type. Either way, I think Nora should be a pretty easy fight. Could be wrong. Let's see. This is... Oh, this is definitely normal. <laughs> this is a library. <laughs> hmm. Looks like I have company. Hello there. My name is Nora, the normal type specialist of the Elite Four. While normal type Pokemon may not be effective to any other type, they have a wide range of attacks and can be unpredictable. With all my years as a detective, you're a detective? I've learned to match any types that I may come to battle with. You're ready, trainer, because this is going to be a rough ride. Do you mean like all of her Pokemon are going to be normal and a typing? Like normal grass, normal water, normal fire, normal electric, normal dragon, etc.? Because that would be a pretty interesting strategy. It would almost be like you're not a normal type gym. <laughs> Lazloff. I can get a sticky web up against this easy enough though, so I'm not complaining about that. Are you going to have a bunch of slow bulky Pokemon anyway? Was this useless? We might survive. We don't survive, we get crit. Okay, alright. That's unfortunate. Do we start bulk up? Is that what we want to do? Do we just start spamming bulk up? I think I'm going to start spamming bulk up with my own normal type. We know that they shouldn't have too much to hit me with other than stab on Lazlock. This thing strikes me as a slacking. Slacking is just there to be a bulky physical normal type move here. This thing is a slacking. <laughs> so we're going to spam bulk up. We have the Rocky Helmet as well to slowly deal damage. Meaning I'm going to just go straight to like plus four, plus four. Just in case I need to swap out, I don't want to waste too much time. But so I'm again. I don't want to get paralyzed though. I don't want to get paralyzed though. And I don't want to get crit either, so I'm going to potion up here and then I'm going to start attacking. Plus three, plus three is fine. I think we'll be okay with that. Just don't power. That was the one turn I didn't need it to power. If it powered before that, I could have just full restored. Uh, okay. Alright. Well, that's. I'm just going to bulk up again then. And on the turn where he KOs himself, I'm going to full restore. Knock off. That's unfortunate. That's. That kind of sucks. So it won't KO itself to me anymore, but I mean, as long as we don't get paralyzed, it's fine. We just need to not get paralyzed. Go for knock off again. Rest. Not the worst. Yes, it's a not. Don't have a chest, Barry. Okay, alright. See, not the worst. We can just go ahead, we can headbutt, we can go for flinches, even though it's asleep. Oh, that does half. It's not actually as much damage as I was expecting. I, I thought it was just going to lose this entire health bar. I was very wrong. Let's send in Bolson. We're staying in. Um, I'm not entirely sure on this thing's typing, other than normal, so we're just going to Aqua Slam. It still outspeeds after the sticky web. That's not what I want to see. Aqua Slam has a chance to lower speed. Okay. Speed tied. What's that prankster? It could have pranks. It did go for Torn. It could have Prankster. That that would be weird, but it could. Sacrush. Or Sass Crush. You do not strike me as anything that would resist Aqua Slam. Fake out is fine. Sadly, it won't take Rocky Helmet damage because we had that knocked off. Sucker Punch, but that's physical. Aqua Slam doesn't KO, but we outspeed on the turn where it matters. You know this is working. Little Yaya, he's doing it. Moose Strike? I'm pretty sure we Earthquake this. It's a Steel type, right? Bye bye. Bye bye. It's the first time we get to use a super effective move in this fight. And it's gone. Okay, that's nice. We have the stronger beast. Okay, Formling. Is this thing gonna transform into me and take my stat boosts? I'm still not too worried, actually. I think we just headbutt it and it dies. Without speed? Oh, this isn't- a, it didn't transform. I was expecting transform. Doesn't aff I thought it was a normal type, like, just pure normal. I guess not? Oh, I really don't want this thing to swap into me. I should've went for Aqua Slam. I, first of all, I thought we'd outspeed, especially after the sticky web. Secondly, I thought it was gonna use transform. But apparently this thing has a special attack stat. Uh... Aqua Slam KOs, though, with a crit, which could be useful, I don't know. Wait, that was Spirix? 
Oh, I got debated. Oh, I got totally debated. I didn't expect that at all. I didn't expect that at all. That's why it was a ghost type. I mean, we're just gonna Aqua Slam here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, we got a sweep. We got a sweep in the Elite Four. Hey, Solved, that was no match for you. You have won this battle and can now go on to the second last member of the Elite Four, which we are definitely gonna make Faye at, because I don't wanna fight Rex. I just don't I think Rex is gonna be so difficult. We're gonna be spamming potions a lot in that fight, I can tell. I don't even know if it's gonna be worth setting up Sticky Web in that fight against Rex, because I don't know how many dragons he's gonna have that are flying. I guess it's probably still worth it. Uh, I want to keep the Focus Sash as well. I'm going to put the Focus Sash on Venezuela when we get to the actual champion. Or at least that's the plan. So, Fayette? Let's go. Isn't this lovely? A train has come to see me. My name is Fayette. I'm a fairy type specialist of the Elite Four. I just love fairy type Pokemon. They're so cute. But don't mistake that cuteness for weakness. Even the smallest fairy can defeat the biggest dragon. Listen. No, it can't. What is the smallest fairy? Like, Judy Fly? Actually, it probably could. Don't underestimate me. Uh, hmm. Actually, do we want to set up Sticky Web in this fight, or do we want to use Venezuela as our poison type? Because that has type advantage. I mean, we'll still leave with it. We'll decide after that, I guess. Depending on the first Pokemon, we may go for Sticky Web. Depending on the first Pokemon, we may just try and poison jab KO. If we don't get the Sticky Web up in this fight, I don't think it's going to be too crazy. I can't think of too many fairies that are crazy fast. Uh, this... Can this KO me, even if I set up Sticky Web? I... I don't know. I'm going to set up Sticky Web because I don't think it can KO me, actually. Goes for Wish first turn. Okay. Uh, we're going to go for Poison Jab. Hopefully get the Poison. That does damage. And we got the Poison. Okay. And Q Charm. Player off doesn't do too much though. Yeah, that's fine. That's very resisted. Okay, Wish kicks in, which is annoying for sure. But I'm not too worried. Withdrew Lop Hug to go into Murmurine. Which means I'm no longer affected by Q Charm and I can spam Poison Jab. Thank you? <laughs> Um, Venezuela Sweep? Venezuela Sweep? Might be a little bit too early to start saying that, but maybe. We have Black Sludge, we're gonna get Recovery. Let's send in Fell Love. That's our Psychic type, we're gonna swap out. Let's, let's just play it safe. Uh, Psychic Fairy, huh? I guess Shadow Ball. I'm assuming it's only gonna have special attacking moves. I'm really hoping so, because physical moves are scary. Just. Just don't do physical moves and we'll be okay. I'm gonna go for Shadow Ball. Is that enough? Bulk. Heart Stamp, that's physical. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. It's a pretty weak move. You know, it's not like it's, um... Psy Shock or anything like that. Psy Shock could be scary, actually. That'd be something to look out for. Ghoul Low. We can stay in. Isn't that a ghost? It's this thing. I know I can't KO it. We had this happen before. No, give me a crit. Oh. Moonblast, we can survive that. Siphoon, you absolute beauty. Absolute beauty. Very nice. Lavanrina. You know, I have half a mind to stay in and just Aeroblast. It might even KO, but honestly, Poison Jab. Four times super effective Poison Jab. It's been a while since we've seen a Lava Marina. Almost forgot this Pokemon existed. Uh, Sticky Web means we're definitely going to outspeed. If we, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to speed anyway. Widox is pretty fast. Focus Sash? Oh. We survive a super effective Psychic? Hang on, what? No, no, no. Our stats are awful. What do you mean? This thing has 85, but it's plus special defense nature. <laughs> That mattered. Our defenses are so bad. Look at our defenses compared to these other Pokemon. They're so bad. How did we survive? I mean, it's not stab, but... Okay, okay. It's six levels higher using a super effective Psychic and we survived. 
Color me impressed, I guess, huh? Grab the same thing. Foxibin. Yep, that's a swap. That's certainly a swap. What does it swap into? Good question. I don't know. Um, I guess Cam Electro can finish things up from here. I can set up a single card mind, then start spamming um, Flamethrower. Or we could just spam Flamethrower and become Fire type. Um, we just can spam Flamethrower and become a Fire type, I guess. That way we'll resist its stab, and we should be fine. I don't see this thing having much to deal with fire types. Mystical Fire! Well, guess that proved that point, huh? My special attack fell though, which is annoying. Thankfully we got the burn to kind of mitigate that a bit. But we'll stay as a fire type. I don't think it has too much. Oh, it has Dusty Dash! Okay, okay, fair, fair. Um, we're still gonna finish it with Flamethrower. Last Pokemon's gonna be Lot Pug. Uh, I think. Yep. And against this, we are fine to honestly just go ahead, go back into Venezuela, I suppose, and Poison Jab. I don't even know if Poison Jab is KO range here. It might be. It, it's probably a roll. There we go. Okay. All right. You know, that was probably the most successful so far. Uh, now for the hard one. <laughs> that was a lovely battle, just lovely. You've beaten my fairy type Pokemon, but that's okay! I'm so happy I got to battle you and have this experience with you. Now move on to the last member of the Elite Four. Good luck. Okay then. Let's uh, just go ahead and potion up our Pokemon. We do have a PP up. We have seven PP ups, actually. Um, but I don't think we need to use them on anything. I feel pretty comfortable in our amount of PP on stuff, to be honest. I wasn't sure if we were going to like need more on Stone Edge or anything, but I, I think we're going to go into this battle and be absolutely fine. Uh, we're going to definitely set up Sticky Web. Hopefully we get up Sticky Web. If we don't, this, this fight could go badly. Carlos, so here you are. You made it all this way to me. I knew you were special when I first laid eyes on you. I just knew there was a power, a warrior in you that was waiting to be revealed. That's a pretty strange thing to think about someone when you first meet them, but okay. So, here we are. The final battle of the Elite Four. You beat me, you can move on to the Pokémon Champion of Rakota. But I will not be an easy opponent. Me and my Dragon types are in sync. We will be a tough battle. Good luck. I'm scared. I'll admit, I'm pretty scared. Uh, I think my plan is going to be set up. Just, just bulk up or something. Probably. And rely on Yaya with the Sticky Web. That's the plan, at least. We have three different Pokemon that can set up, so hopefully we'll get an opportunity for someone. Hydrogen. I think we're going to outspeed this and get Sticky Web up first. That's good, that's good. That's the main purpose of this. Hydro Pump, we're probably going to get KO'd. We don't get KO'd. I'm actually very surprised that Venezuela is living these moves. Um, I guess we just go for a Poison. We don't get a Poison. We do do a tiny bit of damage, but not enough that it really matters, unfortunately. I think we're going to go into Cam Electro here and go for the Calm Mind Strat. Best case scenario... Oh, Icy Wind, that's fine. We get our speed lowered, that's not so fine. I'm not a huge fan of that. Kinda renders the sticky web that I just set up completely pointless. Yeah, we're not going to outspeed anything. If there's something physical that comes in, we are going to get bopped. So we're going to go for Thunderbolt, because I don't want Icy Wind to be super effective on us. It's a crit Icy Wind. Okay. Turn into an Electric type for our stab Thunderbolt. And we KO. If the thing that comes in is a special attacker, we're fine. Draco Fly. I'm going to be completely honest, I have no idea if that's physical or special, because we haven't seen it really. Uh, we stay in. Yan yeah, Mega. It's affected by Sticky Web, even though it has Fly in its name. That's odd. We're going to Hyper Potion up, just to see what it does, because I, I don't want to lose Camel Electro in this fight. Razor Blade. Went for a Steel type move, huh? And it has Speed Boost. But obviously that doesn't really matter too much. We're going to go for Thunderbolt. 
Assuming it's dragon flying, it's called Draco Fly. It's not. It's not. It's Bug, isn't it? It's a Yan Mega. Okay. I'm still gonna go for Thunderbolt now. And my reason for that is something could come in with Earthquake, and I don't want that. Wait. I'm still weak to Earthquake. My plan failed me. <laughs> Should've just used Flamethrower, but oh well. Brugon, I don't know what that is. Oh! I like that! I really like that. Um... Gonna go for Flamethrower? Dragonic Bloom? What on earth is Dragonic Bloom? I'm very scared. We get a crit Flamethrower. Sadly, we don't get the bird as well. I may have been asking for a little bit too much, but still. Uh, Flamethrower again? Earthquake. Oh no. And that's what I was afraid of. But I can't really energy ball something that's clearly a fruit dragon. And, uh, four times resist energy ball. But Sifun can come in. It was affected by Sticky Web. Sifun can finish this thing up. Do I charge beam right here and go for the boost? I'm doing it. It should KO, right? I made a mistake, I made a mistake, I made a mistake, I made a mistake, I made a mistake. Go for Earthquake. Oh no. Calculated. <laughs> Absolutely calculated. See, now I have a special attack boost, and I can go for Charge Beam. Right? This was all planned. Don't you worry. See, I'm gonna get another boost here. It was calculated to make sure that I could get the most damage off. You know, I, uh... Calculated. Aragon. I really hope we outspeed this. I really hope we outspeed this. Plus two. I see calculated. It was all calculated. Yeah, bring in whatever. I don't even care anymore. Oh, that thing looks terrifying, to be honest. Um, we are probably going to have to go for a Shadow Ball here. That thing's clearly an electric type. If that thing isn't an electric type, then I mean, I don't know. Dragonic Strike. The thing looks pretty scary, but it should be reasonably weak to Stone Edge. We just have to land Stone Edge. Which we do, we outspeed. And it didn't KO. It really didn't KO. Energy Ball should finish from here. Okay. Is there another Pokemon or are we good now? Oh no. Blazilisk. Uh, we're gonna go into Jewel at all, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know. This is the snake thing I wanted. This this should have been the egg that I took way, way, way back in Brushes Town, I think it was called. This was the fire egg that I wanted alongside Cabalta. Uh, Power Gem actually gets a crit, which is nice. Dragonic Flare is neutral. That was neutral. Just saying. That was neutral. Oh, yeah, speed. Slash Bomb's not stab. Earthquake finish. Is that the last Pokemon? Please be the last Pokemon. Please be the last Pokemon. Just get me through the dragons, <laughs> please. <laughs> That's all I ask. Oh, we're through Rex. Okay. My dragons were not enough. That settles it. You've beaten me. Congratulations. You've defeated all of the Elite Four. Now, head through that door to the Rakoto Pokemon Champion. He'll be waiting for you. Good luck. Alright, Snowlo, listen up, buddy. I'm gonna need your support right here. I'm gonna need you to cheer me on a lot, okay? I could really use it here. Um, a lot of my team just lost to the dragon, dude. I don't know who the champion is. But hopefully they don't have dragons. That's about all I really care about for this fight. As long as they don't have dragons, I think we'll be okay. I'm just gonna heal up our entire team that just got smacked around a little bit. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna find the Focus Sash. So if there is a time for us to use this, it is right here. We're gonna put that on Venezuela to make sure that we guarantee to get Sticky Web up. Our entire thing is Sticky Web related. Other than that, honestly, I think we're good to go. I don't think there's anything else that I want to put on any Pokemon. Uh, do I want to put an air balloon on anyone? Like, maybe... Can Electro? That 
could be very useful, but the Zap Blade could also be useful. Uh, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We're just gonna go ahead. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do the fight. You know, we'll make this a longer episode. Who are you? Well, well, what do we have here? So you're Carlos. I see you've managed to defeat the Elite Four and make it all the way to me. Hmm. My name is Jax, and I'm the Pokemon Champion of Rakoto. You will battle me for this title. If you win, you'll be the new Pokemon Champion of Rakoto. If you lose, well, I keep that title. Pretty simple. This is the toughest battle you will ever have. Get ready, because this will not be easy. I'm scared. We're probably going to see level 70s, and we have like a level 62 jewel at all, you know? This this could go really badly. We guarantee get Sticky Web Up, though, which is a little bit off my mind. I don't have to worry about getting one shot straight off the bat. We can go ahead, we can Sticky Web, and I think Cam Electro will hopefully be the thing we need here. Gecko. See, that would be really bad if we didn't have the Sticky Web. It's mega. Okay. Okay. Um, Psychic, we have the Focus Sash, thankfully. It's a very good thing we put that on. Very, very good thing. Uh, however, Venezuela is going to go down. Focus Miss! Focus Miss comes through. Focus Miss is amazing. Not very effective. Oh, I thought it was a Psychic type. I guess it's been changed to... I don't know, I thought it was either Psychic or Dark, to be honest. I don't know what type it is, then. Oh, it transformed into a fighting type. It, it was a fighting type. Yeah, okay, right. Happened to turn before. Uh, this thing is definitely a special attacker. I don't know how much special attack it has, but I can't really set up Calm Minds easily, because I'll turn into a Psychic type, and then Shadow Ball will be super effective on me. However, I don't know what type this is. I could potentially set up Calm Minds with Jolitol. What have we seen so far? We've seen Psychic as the strongest move? Or I suppose Focus Blast? Okay, we're gonna try and set up Calm Minds with Jolitol, I guess. Calm Mind. Ice Beam. That's not too bad. Protein means this is gonna hurt. Crit. Crits are a thing, that is scary. I do not like crits. Um, we're gonna go into Safoon. At the moment, it is an ice type. It has ice beam and I am afraid. We're gonna go for Aeroblast. It outspeeds us? Oh no. Oh no. Well, this isn't good. Please outspeed. Oh no. Neutral, we should live. We get a special defense dropped, which is incredibly unfortunate. How, how defensive are you? Defensive enough so that that doesn't KO. Well, now we have to sacrifice something else. We're gonna go into Coco Rocco. We're gonna hope it doesn't go for Ice Beam, honestly. That's about all we can do. This is the worst fight. <laughs> this is about worst case scenario. We do survive, which I suppose is the important thing, because it allows us to potion up Cam Electro. At this point, we are relying heavily on Cam Electro. If Cam Electro fails us at any point in this fight, I think we're done. I really do think that we are in an absolutely awful situation right here. This Gekone is way too strong for no reason. Leading with the Mega. Focus Blast, miss, please miss. It's called Focus Miss for a reason. Do we should live? Okay, okay, and Flamethrower should KO this thing. Just get this stupid coverage Pokemon out of my face. That's about all I want right now. Get it gone. Elastom. I am gonna swap into Yaya. And I think I'm gonna first turn Bulk up. I'm expecting this thing to be physical, and this way I can get some revives off on my Pokemon. Muddy Water. Well, that's special, uh, but it doesn't do much. My accuracy falls, but honestly, who cares? I just wanted a single bulk up off so that I could start max reviving some Pokemon. First Pokemon I'm going to max revive 
Weirdly enough, it's going to be Coco Rocco because we've seen that it's bulky and it can live moves. I wasn't expecting this fight to go so badly right from the start, I will admit. Um, but we have the Sticky Web up now, which is nice. Gonna revive Safoon, and I think that's about all I want to do right now. Oh, I do also want to go ahead and potion up Cam Electro so that we can bring it back in when we need it, because we'll probably need it at some point. Yawn! Uh, we are gonna Aqua Slam. It has War Absorb. Okay. Earthquake does decent damage. Uh, we're gonna Full Restore here though, so that it doesn't really matter too much. I wish Full Restore got rid of our Accuracy debuff. Uh, but it doesn't. So this thing isn't actually part Ghost type like the Mega is, meaning we can just headbutt, I suppose. A ground type with War Absorb is pretty convenient, though. We get the flinch. Give me another one. Go on. You know you want to. Nope. Goes for Yawn. We are going to fall asleep. Do we want to use this to our advantage and let ourselves fall asleep but get the bulk up off? Kind of. We'll fall asleep and then we'll fall restore. This is fine. Um, <laughs> and Slack off. That's less fine. That's less fine. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, I have nine full restores. Well, this is the last time we're going to be using them. Let's not, let's not worry too much, I guess. Don't you all? Earthquake's fine. The thing with using a full shiny team is we need a lot of setup <laughs> for this to become good. We get the flinch on that turn, which is nice, and then we miss. But it goes for Earthquake rather than Yawn, which is basically all I want. And Headbutt finishes. Okay. Please send in something physical. Please. That'd be great. Aurora, I have no idea if that's physical or not, to be honest. Probably special. I remember it, it's being really fast. Oh, it has competitive. Oh, no. Alright, this thing is now, it's level 70, and it has a competitive special attack boost. Saying this is bad would be something. We're gonna flamethrower, because we outspeed, we can turn into a fire type and hopefully get hit by an ice type move, best case scenario. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Frost breath always crits, but it misses. No more boost for you. Okay, Cam Electro, MVP again, uh, for right now. Actually, to be honest, we wouldn't have outsped and turned into a fire type if it wasn't for Venezuela. I think Venezuela is MVP right now. We're gonna go for Thunderbolt. I should have swapped out to turn back into an electric type, but I didn't because I'm a dummy dumb. Thunderbolt should KO though. We have the Zap Plate as well. There's no way it survives. I, once again, stand corrected because it has a Wackham Berry. Didn't expect that. That's pretty clever. Really inconvenient, but really clever. It swaps out as we potion, which is fine. I'm okay with this. Goes into Fanshi. I am gonna... Still go for Thunderbolt, because it's our strongest move. Goes for Hex. We can live that. I'm gonna actually set up a Calm Mind here. Because we won't KO with this next Thunderbolt anyway. So, we may as well get the boost to put us into KO range, rather than waste a turn. Uh, oh. I'm gonna Thunderbolt here, because I think it should still KO. I could be wrong, it might survive on very, very slim red health, but I think it'll KO. Okay, that's fine. That works out. And with that, we hit level 68. Tappy Blaze. We're staying in, we have a mind up. I'm staying in, I have a calm mind up. I'm going for a Thunderbolt. Thing is so bulky. We get poisoned, but, you know, it's fine. We have a calm mind up. We can full restore. I think this is the last time we need to use potions. <laughs> Come on, Cam Electro. Cam Electro is just getting smacked in the face repeatedly over and over again, just pummeled into the ground, and it's, it's surviving. Alright, we're gonna go for Calm Mind, just put us into range of KO. We're gonna turn into a Psychic type, which I think should be fine, as long as it doesn't go for like Shadow Ball. Fudge Bomb, that's fine. 
Thunderbolt, we KO, Swellagon comes in, whatever move it goes for, we're at plus two defense, special defense now, um, we survive, we Thunderbolt. Even if we don't, well, don't, don't you start flinching, don't you start flinching. All this could happen, and they could start playing the flinch game. But they fail on that one, and Cam Electro finishes this up. Cam Electro, thank you for being the shiny that I found. We have defeated the champion. We've done it. Well, it looks as if you win. You are the new Pokemon champion of Rakoto. Hmm. I should be disappointed, but really, I'm happy. I got to battle a powerful trainer and was defeated. I have had the Pokemon champion title for a long time now. I was starting to think that there was no one worthy enough to make it this far, but I see now, you are worthy. Congratulations, Carlos, you are now the Pokemon champion of Rakoto. I couldn't have done it without the moral support of this little Snowlo following me, honestly. Please go to the Hall of Fame. Oh, you're not even going to take me there? I have to walk there myself with my Snowlo? Okay. Glad Snowlo will come with me. Can I put Snowlo in a Pokeball and put it on the team registration? It may as well have been that. Venezuela? MVP, in my opinion. The Sticky Webs came in clutch. Cam Electro, secondary MVP for sure. Kokoroko, thank you for existing and being kind of strong. Yakul was pretty good as well, actually. Jawtool, you were less good. <laughs> I'm gonna be perfectly honest. So food had its moments. I think if anyone was bad there, Jawtool could have probably been replaced for something a little bit better against dragons or something. Or something good against that Gakone, whatever that would be. I have no idea what would be good against Gakone. Probably Mega Leonite would be good against Gakone. You just stone edge it and it gets bopped, I imagine. And with that, the main story comes to a close. But that is not all we're going to be doing. We are going to go ahead. We're going to do a little bit of the post game if uh, if there is any like story post game. And also, I am going to go ahead and make sure to catch all the legendaries and make sure that I show off where they are. I see a sweet goon. Hold on a minute. Suicune isn't in Pokemon Soul Light and Luna Dark. Or is it? I don't think it is. <laughs> if it is, then that would be a huge surprise. Um, ooh, shiny icons by Figurehead, Honeydo, 12, and Chitao. Thank you. Thank you for the shinies. I found a lot of them, because the shiny chance is very high. That's very nice. Uh, but overall, game's a lot of fun. Hopefully there's some post-game. And I'm going to go ahead and skip to when the credits are over. At the end of the credits? I think so, unless there's a last final message that says thank you for playing or something. I think I already read thank you for playing. And with that, we are back here. The Snowlo's still here! I had to check, okay? I had to check that the Snowlo was still here. still here. And Venezuela gives us a nugget to reward us. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. Uh, we will go ahead and make sure to find all of the legendary Pokemon and put those into a video and do any post-game if there is any. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!